Hey everyone, first before the video begins, I wanted to tell you that you will see me holding the cord, not actually putting it into the iPod. I did this because prior to making the video, I had to test this to make sure it was working. So I figured, you know, it would be pointless to make the video without having it tested first, you know? So that's the reason why the cord is not connected to my iPod. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so what you'll need is your iPod or your iPhone, the power cord, your computer, and the adapter that will allow you to um, plug it into the wall. Alright, for the first option, take that end of the power cord and plug it into your computer. And make sure your computer is on. Then, insert the other end into the bottom of your iPod or iPhone, like so. And then make sure you hold both the power button and the home button at the same time and wait until it turns on. Okay, here's the second option, using an outlet. I have this adapter that came with my iPhone and I also purchased an adapter at Walmart. And I like the other one, there it is right there, because it has a light that comes on when you plug it in so you know that it's working and it's you know charging your device. And I'm sure you guys know how to use this. You just plug in that end to the back of the adapter and then plug it into the wall or the outlet. But for this video, I wanted to show you with the one I got from Walmart so you can actually see the light when I plug it in. And there's the light. Take that other end, put it into the iPod, and press and hold the home button and the power button. Hold it until the iPhone or the iPod turns on. And that's pretty much all I know about this. I posted this video because I was going through the same thing that you guys are. And I thought that this would be a helpful video. So if it helped you out, leave a comment below. Thanks. And subscribe. See ya.